What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we showed you the paint color for the Acura RSX Lambo Killer 2.0 build. And in this video, we're gonna paint this thing. And I tell you what, it looks good. Another day sanding on the RSX, it sat for a day or so. Basically what we did was finish it in 400 grit, but we were blocking it with the Dura block, which is kind of one of these, kind of a foam block. So they're not like as straight. I got some Facebook ads for these things. These are called linear blocks and they actually have a stick it. So a sticky backed 600 grit wet sanding paper. So what I've been doing is I hit the car, like the kind of the top edge is all the main super straight lines that you see. I went ahead and hit those with some of the black powdered guide coat. And you could see that's pretty much what we did right here. So I did this top edge already. Just go ahead and touch that with your hand. Oh, it I'm feels as that. smooth as a baby's butt. Touch it, damn it. Okay. Check this out. Pressure wash, get, get the paper. This is a life hack I didn't know ever. I ever knew. Uh, check this out. Just come down here and watch this, buddy. How does that make you feel? So it's just a little powder that rubs on. Yeah, and then it goes down into all the scratches. For example, let's see. You ready for this? Oh, I love spraying the paper like that. Wow. So now see all the sand scratches in that? So that's that's 400 grit scratch. Maybe there might be a little 220 left over that you know the primer kind of shrank into. Uh, which we are gonna hit this with a sealer and that will fill all that stuff. But this just eliminates a chance of a scratch coming back in the future. Like, look at that right there. That's potentially a low spot. That could be just a tiny little thing. Look at that. So now it's almost gone. We'll go ahead and hit it just a little bit more. And like now that we just know that that thing is gonna be laser straight now. These things have taken a little while to get used to because they are pretty hard. It's kind of like sanding a car with like a piece of hard plastic. So you gotta be real careful with like the edges and stuff. Like if you're gonna do this fender, obviously the fender is not flat. Right. And we have a pretty flat block, but you kinda pick your edge, like the angle, and you could kinda hold it, hold that. You can see how we follow the contours. We try to follow them with that. And then even like right here, keep the crisscross. That's kinda that, but I really like it. Wow. And you pretty much just do that over the whole car over and over and over and over again. This is the first time I've ever tried it with the 600. We've never really finished a car with 600 before we spray. It's usually always 400. So I'm curious to see how it's gonna lay out once it's all sprayed and said and done and three weeks later, if it shrinks or if it doesn't, or if it's just like laser straight. Now we just give ourselves more work to do on every car. The RSX is ready to go in the booth. So give it one quick last pressure wash and pressure washed out the inside of the booth. Hood is ready to go. Everything has been hit with the 600. I stopped by DNS Paints this morning. We got a couple extra little things. Now we should be able to pull it in here and hit send. So, car in the booth, it is ready to spray. Color that we chose is basically a, it's a tri-coat. I'm, I'm not really gonna call it, I'm gonna call it a, should call it a black candy mid-coat, uh, which means it's gonna take a little bit longer other than just like a regular base coat. We're gonna go ahead and put some of this. This is a dark gray uh, urethane sealer. So we'll go ahead and seal the car with that. We'll do the black base coat, we'll do the blue mid coat, and then we'll do the clear coat over the top of it. So, we've got a lot of paint to do, probably at least three-ish hours right now. It is five o'clock exactly. Let's see when we're done spraying.
So what Danner is doing right now is just kind of going around the car and hitting like all of the major like high dirt nib, dust nibs, whatever you want to call it to kind of get that. And what, what are you going to do after that? I'm just going to 3000, well I'm going to block it with 2000, block the whole panel and then I'm going to end up 3000 right after the 2000 to take out the 2000 scratches. Yeah. So what grid are you using with there? That's just 2000. Oh wow. Yeah. I, like, I want to block this whole thing with, uh, with 800. Ooh, hit scary. it hit it with 800 that's then 1000 and 12 <laughs> and then just go all the way up with it i like to i like to work it minimize the amount of work that you can do yeah they make the easier you can make it i mean i feel it comes out nicer because i mean 2000 you know how easy it is to get 2000 out mm -hmm. compared to like a yeah. thousand or something like it that. polishes out pretty good Guys, so the car is completely painted and it is fully polished. The next thing that we need to do is dial in the chassis. So it needs engine mounts, it needs transmission mounts, the clutch feels weird, some interior stuff is kind of worn and we're gonna replace that. But one of the next things that we're gonna do is put this thing on the dyno, see how much power it makes. We're gonna take it to the track, see how fast it is. And then we have a pile of parts 